Hassan Wanani. Welcome. Welcome to our channel. Mm-hmm. Welcome back to the regulars, the, the day ones. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, welcome to anybody who is watching for the very first time. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in. Mm-hmm. Please do not forget to subscribe and to comment yeah. we live for the comments mm-hmm. actually we really enjoy your comments mm-hmm. um so please keep them coming mm-hmm. uh yeah who are you i am lise marijane <laughs> and i'm shalom marijane <laughs> <laughs> and we are the marijanes mm-hmm. on love peace yes. hope sharing our debt free journey yes yeah. it's been an awesome journey mm-hmm. and Quite. uh today we want to talk about attacks on your finances, finances your pockets whatever your you money, want to call it yeah. your purse mm. yes that's what we want to talk about because i think we've spoken a lot about the things that we can we can do to try and and, and mm. come out of the situations that we've we've put ourselves in or have been put in mm. um but the reality is there's no bulletproof mm. um a strategy that one could come up with mm. life is still going to happen mm. and today we're speaking about something that's um out slightly outside of the emergency fund mm. because if you watch the, the the video before i think it might have been um episode two or three mm. we were speaking about the emergency fund that um that allows for you to have a, a s- sort of a cushion if anything should happen mm. um that you've that you've not planned for so for any emergencies but then there are other things that you might not actually have uh, considered yeah. uh, an emergency and you might not have actually thought well I-, I will fund it with an emergency fund if something happens yeah. um but then it happens yeah. you know and yeah. part of life well wow. yeah <laughs> and so, so yeah. do you want to introduce so- some of those things all right <laughs> um one being black tax yeah one of the biggest ones yeah um and it's controversial yeah and it's controversial yeah, because obviously um within the community and the likes there's the phrase ubuntu as well yeah which if you think about it it almost contradicts the existence of black yeah. text but yeah. black text we all know it's real you know yeah so the definition of it or a loose definition of it is the income that young black professionals have to forego to support family to support their loved ones yeah. um and you often don't have a choice because it's either serious things that you need to be taken yeah, care yeah. of and you're the only one who's made it out yeah you know the beyonce of the family oh, and, beyonce. <laughs> and you have to so take you care must pay. yeah you have to, <laughs> you have to take care of some stuff yeah. and sometimes sadly um it's not even urgent or emergency um or mm. things that um are that serious but people still still bring them to you you know yeah no that's and true sometimes you feel obligated because you think but can they took me through school yeah, or can yeah, yeah. i need to do this and that yeah you know? so that's essentially what it is yeah and i yeah. think the, the sad reality is um it affects a lot of people mm. and and i think the the fact that it's called black tax mm. um probably initially started because it was like black people who were experiencing this mm. but it does definitely um cross the the, the, the yeah, color the lines yeah. um it's not specific to black people but mm. obviously we speaking from our experience mm. so it's from a black um people experience mm. and in fact when we look at, at at some of the things that um if we compare ourselves with with our uh colleagues and friends who mm. are uh, indian or white or whatever um mm. some of them end up actually being ahead of you you might even have the same job the same mm. whatever mm. but in terms of the lifestyle and the things that they can they can actually afford to do mm. become slightly different to what you can afford to do because mm. your salary doesn't just feed you or you and your husband or you and your wife mm. um Oh, and you and just your immediate family but it goes to siblings or it goes to parents or grandparents uncles aunts relatives yeah. um whereas other people have the luxury of just um focusing on themselves yeah. and it really has become a luxury because yeah. like he said the ubuntu thing is real umuntu umuntu ngabantu yeah. you know so when you think of where you are yeah. it's people who got you there yeah. you know and it becomes so difficult because there is that guilt um component because this is your family so you can't mm. just say i i think you know 
God. You will yeah. see yourself what you're gonna yeah. eat and whatever. You can't. Mm. It becomes very, very difficult. Mm. So, I mean, we've had our fair share of of, of black tax, mm. um, and some of it was 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 really painful to mm. to have to to contribute towards. Mm. Um, some of it was just like, like oh, nah, yeah. aunties <laughs> kind of vibe, you know. Um, and so we wanted to have that conversation because we know that you guys have also experienced black tax and maybe mm. you can share um, your kinds of experiences with black tax mm. and how you've actually gone about um, managing it um, mm. because I think there's a huge uh, component of expectation management from your family side because mm. once they see that your life is popping mm. then you need to you need to give us the money mm. you know mm. so yeah um, so yeah so I think we can just share some some examples um, yeah. not necessarily our examples mm. but just examples mm. of black tax you know <laughs> so maybe you have to pay your sibling school fees yes yeah. or you have to pay for their medical yeah. aid yeah yeah or you have to um pay for your parents house yeah. you know or yeah. you have like it's it becomes that yeah. deep yeah. like you have to pay for their car or you have yeah. to like it's really really true. big stuff yeah. and uh, and I think also, um, like you mentioned earlier, because it's family and it's people who are so close to your heart, yeah, you don't want to see your people struggling. No, you don't want to see your people suffering. No. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So when you think about either your sibling or your mother or your brother or any of your family, yeah, um, going through struggles, and you see that mm. you have um, a little bit to contribute, it'll pull at your string, and it like does. you said yeah. as well, with the guilt thing, yeah. but. There are also those situations as well where now they they go overboard. They take advantage. <laughs> there are some situations. No, but they do. Yeah. yeah. There are situations no, they where they do take advantage, you know? And like, I think so, sorry, babe. And yeah. I think that's what we want to speak about. Yeah. Is is that portion when yeah. you can see that you no, know, these people are now taking yeah. me. Yeah. 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 You know? yeah. yeah, it's in Lalanga, you know. <laughs> so uh, I think with this whole journey because we've been so strict with mm. how we spend money um and how we allocate uh, mm. different funds into this and that and whatever mm. obviously uh, because we've been trying to throw in as much money into getting rid of debt as mm. possible um we don't we don't want to leave ourselves with like too much cash mm. in the account so we want to make sure that the temptation is gone mm, so mm. you make sure like we said you budget and you allocate money into all these different things mm. um so that you are making progress obviously with the dead snowball and um that you're not actually ending up spending your money um unnecessarily so then when and when a, a black tax situation mm. comes <laughs> Obviously, if you have like black tax situations every month, like if you're paying someone's like rent or something, mm. then it becomes easier to to put in your budget. Yeah. You know what's gonna yeah. happen. Yeah, like you can plan for it. Mm. And as as undesirable as it is, obviously mm. to be paying somebody else's rent, mm. you can sort of like plan around it and manage mm. that. Mm. But the ones that are more sporadic and they just pop up at you mm. and they just you know, those are the ones that become very difficult to manage because mm. you know today oh we need electricity money you know and it's like the 18th of the month and you're like okay mm. so like what must i do mm. you know mm. or it's someone uh someone needs to go to the doctor on like the 23rd of the month and mm. you're like you know yeah. so those are the ones that we want to speak into and and how how do you manage them mm. what do what do you do you know someone wants a phone that you don't even have mm. like you can't even <laughs> afford well, you probably can't afford it but you don't have that phone mm. but they want money from you for that mm. phone and you're like how so all of those things mm. i mean where do we draw the line mm. when it comes to black tax mm. yeah so do you want to get into maybe how some of the things that we've done to sort of manage one of the things uh, we spoke about um, um, is if if you know that there's going to be actually no not if you know because these things happen sporadically right? yeah <clears throat> but you can somewhat because you know your family you know your people yeah. just think you can somewhat tell that something may come up you know you can and this goes a uh, uh, this is a bit contradictory as well but you can save up a small amount or put aside not even say put aside a small amount that 
you can um, say that okay, if anything happens, I have this to use and this um, only, and, this only. Mm. and if this is finished, then I have reached the limit. I yeah. can't do anymore because at the end of the day, there has to be a limit to some other things. Yeah. Um, that you can and cannot no, do. That's true. Either that or your limit will be extended with credit or debt. You know, that's the only other way to extend your limit. Yep. <laughs> we don't yeah. want that. <laughs> You know, so yeah. yes, that's one of the things that one could do. Put aside some cash yeah. to a certain amount that you know that you'll be disciplined enough as well for you not to touch. Not to touch, and, yeah. And um and you are very wise as to when and how mm. you want to give it off to what situation. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And I think the, the the nice thing with an emergency fund is that I think we've said this before, is that you get to decide what constitutes an emergency in Mm -hmm. your life and if you're a person who knows that more often than not you're going to be um contributing to your 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 parents house or your siblings or whatever Mm -hmm. then it makes sense for you or well you will decide like i said Mm -hmm. then it would make sense for you to actually then um include them in your emergency fund Mm -hmm. but you also don't want to now have too many people in your emergency fund because Mm -hmm. Then you'll just be replenishing it month after month yeah. and you'll never actually get the ball rolling in terms yeah. of getting rid of your debt yeah. so for us we were very strict we were like our emergency fund is for our family like yeah. our immediate family so yeah. whatever he needs immediately or whatever i need immediately whatever our our son needs immediately yeah. whatever our household yeah. uh, the car the, whatever whatever is an immediate need of the family mm. that is an emergency that's what we will uh, use for the emergency fund mm. anything outside of that mm. what we've done um with some of our family members we've actually told them that our budget closes <laughs> <laughs> on a certain day on a certain day is closed. So, yeah. yeah and so they can make requests they can submit requests <laughs> run this thing like a business yeah they can submit requests to things that they might need assistance with and this yeah. is not like every month now you must just submit no no mm. we're not saying you must just now yeah. submit all the time yeah. we're, we're not saying, the bank ourselves. no 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 we're not yeah. <laughs> so we have that period where you can submit a request mm. once our budget is closed our budget is closed and we mm. will tell you our budget is closed mm. you'll have we to wait for next month do anything next about month. it yeah. if that thing of yours can yeah. wait you know it it'll wait yeah and of course, if it's like like real emergencies, like mm. someone needs to go to the doctor immediately or whatever, oh. then that's of a course, different situation. You know, yeah. But we we close the budget for things that they have control over, like knowing that ish this month I'm not going to be able to afford um, to pay for my transport or whatever, or mm. whatever the situation mm. is. Mm. Then we can make provision before the budget before we're done with our budget but once we're done with our budget and the thing is not there and remember anything that goes into our budget like an extra item is taking away from the snowball mm. because all of our extra money we're throwing into debt we're throwing into um getting rid of that debt so anything that re- anything over and above our immediate needs mm. is going to steal from that and so we make sure we put our foot down we we decline requests mm. And sometimes we we, we, we approve requests, <laughs> but but we're very strict, mm. and and we, you run the risk of people uh, saying, mm, "You are so stingy." <laughs> it's fine. It's my money. <laughs> it's my money. So even if people are gonna call you stingy and all of that, it's fine. Mm. I I think that's fine. Like if people if people think you're broke and if people think you're stingy, that's fine. It, it, it doesn't add. Yeah. To and, add or take away anything yeah like yeah. it actually doesn't matter what people think about you mm. you know so you need to make sure that you are dedicated to the goal and that people your immediate family should know that guys i'm trying to get rid of debt or mm. this is what i'm trying to do or mm. this is my lifestyle like i am not even improving my own lifestyle in mm. terms of fancy things and things like that and i'm not going to be doing that for you either that's mm. not what we're here for but if if I need to assist with your immediate needs, mm. that I can do. But within this specified time, and mm. once it's closed, it's closed. It's closed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the other things that we just wanted to touch on, um, which you sort of see um, is a bit of a problem. I think we also had the same problem. Mm, yeah. Um, most people have this problem. Is that uh, lifestyle inflation? I think we've made mention mm, of it before, of it, yeah. but. 
um but basically what lifestyle inflation is is let's say you get an increase at work mm. or you have another stream of income so basically if at any point you find yourself having more money than what you had then mm. you want your spending or your lifestyle to meet that that's lifestyle inflation mm. and that is not good if you are in debt mm. you do not want to now see now your, your, your income is rising Stay in that your one. lane, Stay exactly. So if you, let's say, for example, you've been shopping at Pick and Pay and Mr. Price, mm. and then now you get a new job. Oh, now you've got 10K extra. Now you're like, I'm sorry, I'm going to go to Woolworths mm. and I'm just going <laughs> to live it up. No, that is not what you do. You have <laughs> debt. You need mm. to get rid of your debt mm. first. Mm. So remember, the, the sad thing about debt and I think a lot of people we don't we don't actually speak about this thing um, that's called a net worth because most people have a net worth of minus something, mm. and so we act like it's something that doesn't matter and mm. doesn't exist. It doesn't ex- it, it, it only exists for those who are rich. Exactly. Because they declare their they, net worth. They de- yeah. The rest of us are just yeah. on some. Yeah, no. You know, <clears throat> net worth is a real thing. Like, mm. and and it matters, guys. Like. And if you have a lot of a lot of debt, obviously your net worth is going to be in the negative mm. because you basically take what you own minus what you owe and mm. what you have at the bottom is your net worth. Mm. And if you owe more than what you own, then ta-da, you're in the minus, mm. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so you can't be thinking, oh, now my salary has gone higher or I've got another stream of income. Mm. Let me increase um, my, or let me inflate my lifestyle. Mm. No, no, no. Think about your net worth as well. Mm. Because now, okay, you might be getting a bit more at the end of the month, but you actually still owe quite a lot. Mm. So rather throw that money into getting mm. rid of debt. Yeah. So, yeah, And also on that, and uh, reason I said don't change lanes. Yeah. Um. Is like you were saying with the example of uh, your Mr. Price and mm. your pick and pay. Mm. Um. The other side of it would be, if you're already buying from the Zara and them, you know, you're already at the Woolies and them. Maybe then don't change lanes to now your Versace's and them. Yeah. And now you're going to the Gucci's and them. Yeah, I do. You know, but you can change lanes if you want to to the Mr. Prices in them because then you yes, have more money exactly you have more money to put into that's your debt so to change your net worth yeah, you know? yeah yeah that's very true and uh, I'm for it like I'm one of those people who will like buy clothes like in a dodgy shop never not in a dodgy shop not all the time but mm. anyway if I do buy in like a somewhat dodgy shop and then someone will say oh my word that's such a nice dress and I'll <laughs> tell you I bought it for 60 rand and even my sisters were like, stop doing that. Stop doing that. I'm like, but I have no shame. Like, the mm. fact that you, you looked at it and thought, wow, this is nice. Mm. It doesn't mean that just because you can afford expensive things, you must buy expensive things. Mm. That is not, it doesn't make sense. Especially if you have debt. Obviously, mm. if you're out here without the debt, and you've got ah, investments, so, you, know, ah, you sort of in life, live your best go, life. Go for yeah. it. But we're speaking from a place of debt. Mm. You have no business inflating your lifestyle at the rate or faster mm. than the, the increase of your salary or your income. Mm. So that's just one of the other things I wanted to speak about because we see it happening often. I mean, most of us uh, who are employed will get an increase every, every oh, year, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, mm. now there's a bit more wiggle room <laughs> in your in your um, in your budget. Now mm. you think, you know what? In fact, I don't want to drive a Ford Figo anymore. I'm gonna drive an Audi. <laughs> like, but does that even make sense? Mm. You know. So it's just one of, one of those other things that you really need to think about because mm. the norm in 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 our society is that life goes that way. And that way is increasing. So mm. if you started with the Figo, then your next car must be a... No, don't let people tell you. You can start with the Figo and then move back to a, a Cadet or a Taz or whatever. Mm-hmm. Don't let people tell you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> you can start at Mr. Price and go to Pip and go to secondhand clothing. It's, mm. it, you don't have to live the way in fact dave ramsey even says debt is normal be weird 
And to live this life of a weirdo is honestly the best thing you can do for yourself. Yeah. For your future self. Yeah. Yeah. It, because now it hurts. Mm-hmm. It does. It's painful. <laughs> but <laughs> but it'll be totally, of, totally yeah, worth it. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah, so that's just some of the things that we wanted to chat about. Um yeah, let us know about your black tech experiences. Don't 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 put your families on blast. <laughs> yeah. Please don't. <laughs> don't put your families We're on not blast. Trying to, yeah. <laughs> you know, but let's continue, I think, just empowering each other yeah. with, with with knowledge, even our families. And when they ask you for money, it gives you the opportunity to have that money conversation with mm-hmm. them. Um, on how they're managing their money and and things because now they're involving you in their in their finances so you can actually maybe have the conversation with maybe you need to yeah. let me see your budget <laughs> I, I want to see you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah so we wanted to just chat about that today yeah. and then of course uh we wanted to also just mention that we will be taking a small and a break yes um we will not be posting for the next couple of mondays mm. simply because we are working on something that is so exciting mm-hmm. i'm even losing sleep over it like <laughs> and i'm not overselling this i'm very excited about it mm-hmm. um we both are mm. so we are working on something that is related to what we've been doing on this channel um and uh we will come back with the news we will tell you guys first yep. because this is where things started so we will um be taking a break we're not yeah. sure for how long yes. but it won't be anything shorter than a month so we will see mm. you probably in around august or september yeah. but we will let you know we'll, also yeah, we'll on updated, yeah. yeah on our socials mm. um yeah but make sure that the notification bell is on so that the day we post yeah. you are here <laughs> okay so thank you so much thank for engaging you. with yeah. us guys we really do appreciate it we mm. love you so much and we 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 want you guys to continue yeah, um this on, does not stop here yeah it we're continues. not stopping either yeah. we're continuing with yeah. our debt-free journey we're continuing we're making sure that we are hitting those goals every month mm. and staying in our lane and not living it up so mm. you guys must do the same please keep those stories coming they keep us encouraged mm. as well we will be contacting well contactable on our socials mm. so please do keep the the dms coming as well yeah. we love and appreciate you guys so so much Thank you. Hit us up on the comments. Yeah. 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 Yeah.